see you. Get her. Get her. Get her. Good girl. Get her. <laughs> Got that French press coffee and we're good to go. Alrighty then. We are on our way to Prestige Auto Sales in Malden, Massachusetts, where I spied um, a 2006 Toyota 4Runner with the 4.7 liter V8. Um, this thing is a one owner, 150,000 miles, clean Carfax, impeccable maintenance record, um, and it's $9,000. Impeccable. Impeccable. We already know we like 4Runners. Sam's in need of a car. Let's see if uh, it actually looks good in person, huh? Let's go see him or her. Oh, I want to assume. Let's go see this 4Runner. I cannot this wait to take this dumb ass mask off. No, I'm sorry. This mask is really nice. It just... <laughs> You know what I mean. It, the dumbass glasses. The like glasses is what I mean. What a day. What a day. Ooh, they have an MX-5. What a day. What a day. Beautiful. Oh my god. Look at this. This is so cool. I love it. This is just like our old car. Man, I love this color, huh? Nice yeah, he does. It smells good in here. This is interesting because this one is full-time four-wheel drive. Not part-time. Not part-time, full-time. So no more switching it back and forth when we get to the um, beach and stuff. All the um, all the dash lights are working, which is important. I expect there to be some kind of bushing issues and stuff like there were with my car. So if there's a little bit of clunking, don't worry. Oh, listen to this, huh? Listen to that engine too, so smooth, right? Oh. <laughs> it brings back Mems. Well, this is good. There's a good road to test this out on. Yeah, I'm trying to hit the bumps. It actually sounds great so far. Oh, this is nice. I like this. All right, here's an important test. There's an auxiliary input. God. How are the brakes feel? They're smooth? Feel smooth, yeah. You got a little bit of smuts up here. Schmutz. Schmutz. <laughs> oh, the engine just sounds so much better than the V6 did. It's like I have a permanent smile. <laughs> TJ. Tony Jr.? Yeah. TJ! Oh my God, that's so cute! <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. I had that. one broken on my 4Runner too. So this is a one owner, clean Carfax, 4.7 liter V8, and uh, recently there was a Toyota Tundra with the same engine that hit a million miles. I think all they had to change was the water pump on the engine too, that's it. <laughs> it's gonna be a little better than her father's Jeep. Um, feels after, good to smile. It does feel good to smile. <laughs> uh, after Samantha drives this and has her share, I'm gonna hop behind the wheel, give you my, I'll give you my opinion of it. The guy says that there's no rust on the frame. They did do an undercoating, which is good. Sometimes people try and hide rust with an undercoating. Uh, so I want to check that out, make sure that's not the case. He did say that the skid plate was a little rusted underneath, but um, they would take care of that for us and put an aftermarket one on, so. It smells so good in here. I was like, I wonder if it's gonna be a smoker good. car, but it's in yeah. such good condition. There's no stains on the carpet in the back. Except on the ceiling, there's a poop stain. Yeah, but like- A poop smear. That's a rite of passage. Like yeah, if you exactly. get this car, you're gonna have to smear it with poop too. Oh my goodness. This is awesome! Sorry. <laughs> I thought someone ran out in the road. <laughs> my face hurts. He's just smiling. Uh, truth be told, ever since I sold my 4Runner, I've been missing it dearly. So is Samantha. Isn't that correct? Yes. Yeah, you can probably pull off right here if you want to switch. Yeah, yeah. False. <laughs> I wonder if the steering uh, feel has anything to do with it being full-time four-wheel drive or not. So, moment of truth. It does have a rear wiper, which is one rear wiper more than Tony used to have. <laughs> when uh, we went to Niagara Falls, I was putting your suitcase in the back and it tore it off. Oh no, I didn't know that. Let's bring back some memes. It's nice. Yeah, test the goose. Test the goose? <laughs> test the goose. Goose it. <laughs> oh, it feels so much quicker. 
than the V6 did. Much more torque down low. My dad is gonna fall in love with this car and he's gonna Ooh, take it. This thing is quick, <laughs> Sam. Yeah, he's gonna love this. At some point in time, you know, maybe not today or whatever, but um, we should try and find our way back to the car dealership. Maybe. <gasps> but this sounds solid. All the suspension feels great. I am in love. What year was Tony? Tony was at 07. <laughs> Sorry. The brakes feel great. God, why did I ever go with the V6 4Runner? I don't understand now. I just don't. How much I I, did you get them for? I don't even want to say. Transmission feels great. Got the back. And the sunroof. For all of you guys looking at 4Runners, I really suggest looking at the sport ones. Um, besides the whole suspension, x-ray suspension thing, uh, I think that seating configuration is better. The third row seat is not usable. Like I grew up in the third row seat. My parents had a 4Runner in 2004, so I was 10 years old when I got the 4Runner. And let me tell you, the rear seats were barely big enough for me when I was 10. So I think it's worth just getting the standard configuration and seating because the second row seats actually fold flat if you get them. The uh, second row, they're just tumble seats basically if you have the uh, third row seat. I hope that was coherent. I highly suggest that. Sam, this feels really good. Yeah, you can really feel that torque, huh? Yeah. Highly, highly recommend going to the V8 now over the V6. It's had that back-to-back -back comparison. I mean, the gas mileage isn't really much different. And the V8 lasts longer, allegedly, sounds better, and has that low-end torque that was just missing from the V6. I don't want to get out 50% because I like it in here and 50% because it's raining. It's pouring. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's actually pouring. Um, also, the guys at Prestige Motors here they're See? very nice. Yeah, they're very knowledgeable. They're quick to respond via text. Their location is kind of eh, but I think the cars say more about their dealership than the location. They have exactly. some really, yeah, they have some very unique cars here. They got a modified WRX, lightly modified A7. There's a little bit of surface rust on the frame, but no raw, you want to feel it inside the uh, this here. Man, I love this color, huh? He has a nice bump. Yeah, he does. No rust on the whole trailer hitch assembly here, so that's a good sign. All right, honestly, what do you think of it? I love it, and it feels really safe too. Kind of feels like home in a way. Yeah, seems like it can last for a long time. It's comfortable, and I feel safe in it. Ah, uh, I don't want anyone else to take it. Can you see yourself driving this? Yeah. Hmm. This thing is so clean. Mm-hmm. Should we get out? Yeah, we should get out, so I don't think we're, you know. It's raining harder. Okay, so what ended up happening? A copy of the title here, and we're gonna call it the DCU. We got dibs on the car for a couple days till we hear back from the DCU. And everything was in such good condition. Um, he said that the timing belt was changed uh, around, was it 90,000 miles or so? So we're, we're good for a little while. Super excited though, and Sam's pretty excited as well. It's just, I don't know how, it's like the perfect color, Perfect engine, very good year. It's in great shape, the exterior, the interior, the frame's all right. It's gonna need a new skid plate, but the dealer said that they would uh, get one of those for us. It was awesome, we're, we're super pumped. It's gonna be nice to have another 4Runner, it really is. Can't tell you how much I miss mine. That V8 just makes such a world of difference. If any of you out there are contemplating between the V8 or the V6, try and find the V8. I mean, the V6 is still a good engine, but in my opinion, well worth it if you can find a V8 for the right price. Okay, stay tuned. We might be coming back to you with a new 4Runner. We have a lot of cars in here.